Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we are looking at the D780 and its automatic AF fine-tune abilities. Now the D750 and in fact all of the Nikon cameras have um, a fine-tune ability but certainly all the cameras I've had uh, which the, the the latest one before the D780 was the D750 which you did the AF fine-tune manually and whilst there was nothing too problematic about doing that um, I've had some people ask could I show them how to do the automatic version of AF fine-tuning so we're looking at the back of the, the uh, D750 we're on live view now you have to be in live view to um, to use this feature um, the camera has an 85 1.4 lens on and I'm not, I'm not an expert but this is just what I do as a wedding photographer to get sharp photos um, I would go to 1.4 f 1.4 um, I've got a whiteboard and, and I've just got a piece of A4 paper and, and I've just put some lines and that kind of stuff on it I've gone to in um, the focus area you can see we've gone to small sorry wrong mum uh, we've gone to small area you could go to nine point there but just a single small box and made sure that I've actually got the box over a line and in fact probably even better on a cross because then you've got um, contrast in two directions I don't know if that makes any difference but uh, that's the way I would set it up what we then do is go into the menu and if you go into the setup menu and find the AF fine-tune options we we'll simply select that yes um, and obviously you need it turned on uh, fine-tune and save lens now you obviously need to do each lens separately um, so we go to the next screen and we've got for viewfinder or for live view uh, now I'm not even sure why they've got live view on there um, live view uses uh, on sensor focus uh, focusing and I can't see how a lens would be out of focus if you're actually taking the readings off the sensor for focusing um, I, I, I'm not quite even I obviously don't understand something because I don't know why you would even have that on there um, it certainly wasn't on my Sony a7 III which used basically the same focusing system that we're looking at um, on the, the rear screen here so I don't know there we go anyway for viewfinder photography is what you want and we right click now you've got the the focusing the the AF fine-tuned scale there and the way you would do this manually of course is to focus with it set at zero see whether you were, then look at the picture see whether you were front or rear focused and then adjust this uh, backwards or forwards um, depending on, on what that photo looked like and it's just trial and error until you eventually get there you've now got the auto ability here so we'll just click on that and it just says focus so we just hit the focus button and I've just just moved off just a tad let me just go up okay so we've got um, a square uh, across right in the middle of the red box um, focusing box hit focus we've got green and then just hit OK to tune and there we go so that's come up with a value of minus four I just hit OK and that has now saved that value as the value for this lens to be perfectly in focus it's as simple as that um, and simply go through your lenses to go through that process and you should find that all your lenses are then perfectly set up to get really sharp focus now um, it also now the, the D850 I believe also has the ability if we go back there to choose the um, if you've got a zoom lens you can choose different focal lengths to do the AF fine tune so at certain focal because a lens a, a zoom lens can the focusing can change as you zoom forward or backwards uh, the d780 doesn't have that ability so for a zoom lens you simply do exactly the same 
as you would do here. My suggestion would be if you've got um, a 24 to 70 zoom lens that you maybe zoom to around about 50 millimeters so you're kind of in the middle and uh, do this uh, at that zoom lens at that zoom length. So what I would now do to check this, in, in, which is pretty much what I would do um, if I was doing the AF fine tune manually, is set a ruler up at 45 degrees. Now I've I've stuck it on the whiteboard because my video is all set up to record where we are now. It's obviously a lot easier if you do it on a desk or something like that. Make sure you've got pretty good light. Then um, I would focus, put the focus point over something on the ruler and the ruler has got some larger print on it that says the ruler company um, so I've put the red uh, focus square over that I would then hit focus take a shot and check that that is perfectly in focus and hopefully you can see uh, yes um, company is definitely going out of focus uh, the is perfectly in focus and as I come forward on the ruler, I can see exactly where it starts to go out of focus, which is about an inch in front of the word the. So that is absolutely bang on where I would want it to be. Now that is, is of course, using live view, which isn't what we just set the focusing to. You may have already picked that up. So what I'm now going to do is I'll just pause the video and I'll take a shot through the viewfinder doing exactly the same thing and just see that we are that we have the AF fine tune for the viewfinder perfectly adjusted as well. So I've now done the um, the shot. This, so this is through the viewfinder using single point focus, focused again on the word V on the ruler and zoom in. And as you can see, V is again perfectly in focus. Um, and we start to go out of focus by the time we get to uh, C for the, com for the company uh, that's starting to go out of focus and as we come down uh, we've got seven is starting to go out of focus so around about an inch before the we're out of focus front and about if you look at the ruler here we're around about an inch past the uh, is out of focus behind so that is absolutely perfectly um, AF fine tuned and simply do that for all the other lenses that you have and you're completely set up. I hope that's been useful.